Ben and Jen, there were two sides who spoke out tonight. One supporting the breeder, saying her kennel was always pristine, and those commending the efforts of the Bloomfield Police Department. On January 22nd, Bloomfield Animal Control received their third complaint from neighbors, saying dogs were left outside overnight in freezing conditions at the kennel known as Beech Tree Ranch LLC. I noticed just the the and the barking nonstop from either the the large breeds that were outside and then what was inside the building was you could hear it clear as day. Police say Boyster was operating the kennel without a license. Two days later, police seized 15 dogs and brought them to a vet. Six dogs were placed with their co owners, and the 23 dogs in good condition were left there. Police Chief Paul Hammock says his team has been vilified by animal rights activists. We brought them to a veterinary clinic. They were treated for a number of ailments. They were washed and cleaned because their coats were. Their coats were dirty, <laughs> we'll say that. Um, and now they are in municipal kennels being cared for. But Boyster's family argues the dog seized were getting prepped for the Westminster dog show. She has very high standards as well as her friends. And they're kind of they hold one another accountable. I don't think I don't think any kennel could be run as um, with such high standards as what she does. Our dogs were taken from their loving home and put into an even crappier place. First, they're stressed out over, over the movement of these random people taking our dogs from sitting in these tiny little cages at some random place that we don't even know where. Those dogs were on heated floors. Most people cannot afford to put heated floors in their own homes because of the construction costs. Those dogs were meticulously cared for. They're little puppies. They're, you know, definitely going to, there's going to be some puppy excrement. Boyster's attorney telling me, quote, Many of her dogs are champions and grand champions. The dogs are raised in a modern 2,000 square foot building with certain amenities that many people do not even enjoy, such as in floor heating that reflect her high standards. And the police chief says he's been negotiating with Boyster to try and get her dogs back, but now that the court is involved, it's really up to them to make that decision. I'm live in Bloomfield, Carmen Chow, Fox 61 News.